Last time, we talked about analogies between physical systems. Today, we are going to talk about using physical systems to understand and reason about mathematical expressions. If I give you a matrix of the form A is equal to 0 0.001, 0 0.989, minus 3.2, and minus 0 0.01, what could you do with it? Could you tell me what it means? Looking directly at a matrix representation of a dynamical system is a skill that is surprisingly useful, partially because oftentimes matrix representations come from data, and data is never as clean as the examples we cover in class. In the case of this example, what if I write down a matrix that is very nearly the same as the example? A is equal to 0, 1, minus 3, 0. This is a matrix that represents a spring mass system or a capacitor-inductor electrical system. If I choose the state vector to be w equals x and v, then w dot equals aw implies that x dot is equal to v, and v dot is equal to minus 3x. This implies that x double dot is equal to minus 3x. Looking at this diagram and these equations, I now know to expect the matrix I started with should have eigenvalues that are very nearly pure imaginary parts. If I calculate the eigenvalues, I find that h is equal to negative 0.0045 plus or minus 1.7j. So my suspicion was correct. This pair of eigenvalues means that the damping is very low because the non-imaginary part of h is very small and negative. Let's look at some other examples. For instance, what does a equal minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2 correspond to? Because the diagonal elements are non-zero and the off-diagonal elements are zero, we know that these two states are independent of each other and are first order. Therefore, this A matrix represents either a two-spring, two-damper mechanical system, so something that has a wall, a spring, a damper that are connected, but then another spring and damper that are connected, or an electrical system that consists of two capacitors and resistors with a wire in between them. Now let's think about this 4 by 4 matrix. A is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, minus 1, 0. This matrix has two states that depend on each other in the upper left and two states in the bottom right. This corresponds to two spring mass systems that are disconnected. A spring and a mass, another mass and a spring, or a capacitor inductor circuit that looks like this. Two capacitors with inductors on either side and that then are connected with a wire in the middle. Lastly, let's consider one more A matrix. A is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 5, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0, minus 1, 0. This system has the dynamics of the two masses just like the previous example. So here is one mass, and here is another mass, but it also has terms that are here and here. This means that the masses in the mechanical system must be coupled with each other, like a spring mass system and a capacitor inductor circuit that looks like this. So we have a wall, a spring connected to a mass, and then another spring connected to a mass, and that's the same thing as having an inductor and another inductor that are connected with capacitors. The key thing is that being able to recognize mechanical and electrical analogs of mathematical statements makes interpretation of data, and even this class, much easier. What should you remember from today? Remember that when you look at a matrix, it helps to think about what that matrix might represent. The analogy often helps us reason about the system the matrix represents, even if it is not a mechanical or electrical system.